Three years ago, Oxford University Press published my book, Why Are There Differences in the Gospels? The book has been praised by a number of prominent New Testament scholars. However, one critic, Lydia McGrew, has been engaged in continuous criticisms of my work especially, but also the work of other New Testament scholars such as Craig Keener, Dan Wallace, Craig Evans, Richard Burridge, and others. She has also criticized the work of some classicists such as Christopher Pelling, the foremost authority on Plutarch. Crea, is that just total BS? Um, yes. <laughs> it's completely wrong. New Testament scholars are like the princess and the pea when it comes to harmonization. Just like the princess had no tolerance for even a tiny little pea down under six mattresses, New Testament scholars have no tolerance for harmonization. I harmonize Plutarch. I mean, you know, so this yeah. is why harmonization is not some kind of weird uh weird thing. Um, it's something we should be doing with Plutarch. And Christopher Pelling, who is a uh, classicist that Mike is very indebted to, uh, Pelling creates problems in Plutarch where there are no problems. Yeah. If you prioritize something else over harmonization, you are not treating the text as reliable. Uh, Craig Evans' view of the I am say, uh, sayings of John's gospel, where he, he claims that Jesus never really spoke about it. And I know you actually had a, a debate or a dialogue with him uh, on the Joe Justin we Briley could show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we could call it a debate. Good, yeah. Good. Um, yeah, I think he's completely wrong. Um, I'm writing this book about John, the eye of the beholder right now and putting it into book form. And the great thing is that, that this whole view of John that Dr. Evans promotes is, is wrong. And that's a good thing because the view that he promotes of John is of someone who's got a very loose relationship with history, extremely loose. I don't know what it is, but it sometimes seems that New Testament scholars can believe six impossible things before breakfast or six contradictory things before breakfast. Those are bold claims, but does she support them successfully? Join me as I discuss Lydia McGrew's book, The Mirror or the Mask. Oh, bring your umbrella, because it'll be raining cold, hard facts. <laughs>